Text on Kicks here. Um, it's been a while since I've given you an update on my Professor Layton collection, and I don't know if you guys saw my bulletin that I put out a couple days ago, but I recently bought some more Zelda stuff and some more Professor Layton stuff, so that'll be coming in the mail soon, and expect an unboxing video. But I figure before I show you some of the new Professor Layton stuff coming in the mail, I should update you on my collection. So I got a couple things to show you today, and uh, you know, let's start right here with um. Probably the best thing in this. It's a Revolt Tech Professor Layton action figure. Um, there's like countless points of articulation, and you can see all these cool accessories. I mean, this thing is really cool. Um, I I really enjoyed it. I I think it's got a lot of cool features. Look at look at all these poses you could do. It's got different faces. Uh, it's got like stands, got a table and chair, a teacup, all that cool stuff. Even a little brick path to put it all on. And I thought it was so cool, and I liked it so much that I actually bought a second. So I have an opened one and a sealed one. Um, this is, I have Leighton right here, and he's sitting down drinking tea. He's got a book in his hand. He's drinking his tea. He's got his table. Um, now, this, this figure, as cool as it is, with all the articulation and as accurate it is and as detailed it is, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass to set up. Like, um, all the joints feel fragile. Now, granted, I never none of them broke. Um, I had them in a couple positions before this one, and nothing ever broke or anything. But, like, certain things, especially changing his face, uh, I really thought I was going to break it because I had to put that much force on it. But, um, you know, nothing broke. Um, this is my first Revolt Tech figure. I don't know if they're all like that, and maybe people that are more used to the series would be used to it. And, and knew what to expect, but I didn't. Um, he's a very cool figure. Let me spin around a little bit. Let's take him out of his chair. Let me see if I can just put his feet down and stand him up. It took me a while to get him in the chair in a way that I liked, so it's kind of killing me to pick him up, but here you go. Got him standing up. Um, I don't think he stands on his own very well, but he comes with uh, a, like a plastic stand that goes in his back, so you can stand him up on that platform. Um, yeah, the details are great. Uh, everything about it I like. The coat's like a soft, rubbery material. Everything else is like a harder plastic. Maybe like a PVC plastic or something. But it's a very cool figure. Let's look at some of his uh, accessories. So he's got the chair, which you saw. The little brick path. Table. Uh, this is the stand. Goes there, and then this, this moves. It's like uh, It's got articulation, too. So you can... Uh, position them in different ways. You can have them floating in the air if you want. And it came with this little box, and uh, my assumption is that the box is to store all the accessories, but you can also... No, I forgot. I thought you could do that, but you can't. So let's open this up. Which way this open? Here we go. So here's some of the accessories. Let's take a peek. Um, this is like a coin that comes with it. It's, it's like a token of some kind. It's plastic. Um, it says uh, 10 Revoltech points, revoltech.com, or well, dot .in. Uh, here's the back of it. It's really hard to see on this camera, so I'll do the best I can. I apologize for that. All right, uh, here's the alternate face. He's got, um, the one I have him on right now is like his stern, concerned face. This is a, a happier face. Um, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. He's got a teacup. He's got a whole bunch of extra hands pointing, hand open. This one is for the pen. This has got a little pen for his notebook that's in his other hand. Also, this was on the table. It's a little saucer for the teacup. That also has a little peg so you can put it in his hand. More hands. There's lots of hands. And um, this hand right here with the teacup is actually attached to the teacup. So it's one piece. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but the tea is actually angled. So you can, like, you know, put it up to his mouth and he's drinking it. But uh, this is the Revolt Tech figure, Professor Layton. I got a really good deal right when these came out. This website, I think it's Ami Ami. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. They were running a sale, and all shipping from Japan, EMS shipping, was half off. So shipping this only ended up being, like, $7 instead of 15 And it was even the cheapest price out of all the figures, too. So total, it only cost me about 25 to have a chip. And that's what made me decide to... Uh, to buy the second one so I can keep one sealed one open because when I got the sealed one in the mail I realized it was too cool to keep sealed so uh, let's move on and I got these bobbleheads um, 
you can see them pretty well, which is good because they have this clear plastic coating over the plastic, and I think that's great because it'll keep it from uh, from scratching. So here's Luke. Uh, the box is is great because it looks like a building, and it's it's clear on both sides. So you can actually keep it sealed and display it. It's got some kind of card in there. I can't really see it. Uh, Luke looks good. Let's take a look at the bottom. Here's the bottom. It's all in Japanese, so I can't really help you out much. It's made in China. And that's Luke. And of course, if they made a Luke bobblehead, they are going to make a latent one. This one's a little harder to see because of the packaging. Again, I don't want to open these because the packaging is actually really cool. You know, it's got it's good art on it. Uh, and the packaging, the best part about it is you can see the whole figure, so you're not you're not hiding anything by keeping it sealed. And there's the top. And I don't think I showed you the top of this one. So there you go. The two bobbleheads. Uh, I think those were about $20 each, and I think I ordered them both from PlayAsia. And last but not least, I got these miniature UFO plushes for the Professor Layton anime. Um... These are really cool, and the seller that I got it from in Japan actually included it in this little Ziploc bag that they all fit perfectly in. So I'm going to take them out to show you, um, but I plan on displaying them in the bag because they display, you know, perfectly. You could see them all, and I'm not getting dust on them. I currently do not have room for my latent collection in my glass cases, so I try to keep all the plushes in plastic so they don't get so they don't get dust on them because that's the quickest way to ruin a plush. So here's Leighton. These are miniature, like, cheaply plushes. Uh, his hat's all bent up. It was like that when I got it. There you go. And let's take a look at the tab. Tag. It's uh, Professor Leighton, what is it, the Eternal Diva? Something like that. That's the name of the anime. I'm back. So there's Leighton. Here's Luke. Same tag. Um, and I'm not sure who these are. And the last one. And she's got this necklace, and apparently this is something important in the anime because I've seen, like, uh, other items from Professor Layton that have that necklace, so. And there you go. So this is a quick update on my Professor Layton collection. Um, like I said, I should have an unboxing video soon, or two unboxing videos, depending when they come. And I have a lot of stuff coming. Some rare Zelda stuff, some uh, newer Professor Layton stuff. Uh, but all in all, I got a big haul to show you guys. So, uh, once again, I'm X, and thanks for watching.